Hi, welcome to Healthy Homesteading Adventures. Um, this is June 24, 2021. And I'm just wanting to introduce this video and slideshow for you. Um, back in 2012, in the month of May, we began our two-week trip to visit our 332-acre property and actually live on it for two weeks and plan our homestead and get things going. I have written a blog post called Planning the Homestead and I invite you all to check it out at healthyhomesteadingadventures.com. The link will be in the description box below the video. So you can um, read that and check out the various um, Amazon links that I have there of different items that you might want to consider getting when you're going to be homesteading on raw land. And so I must say that the reason I called this channel and my blog Healthy Homesteading Adventures is because it's an adventure to just go to a piece of raw land and start to do this um, from scratch. So I wanted to share with you from the beginning my family's experience this first two week trip and um, what we were able to see and do in those two weeks. We won't, I won't be covering everything, but one of the things we did need to do was um, go visit the um, metals direct and order our metal building. And my husband and I, we knew we needed to bring up um, the motorhome because he's going to need to have a place to stay while the building's getting made. So, um, and we needed a place to stay anyways. So we brought our motorhome up. I drove the motorhome and then he drove our truck with the tractor in a trailer. So he's pulling the tractor behind him and I couldn't do that. So that left me to drive the motorhome, which was lots of fun. And it was a very long drive for about 10 hours plus. So it was very hard to stay awake. But my children did their best to keep me awake. Um, don't forget to subscribe. You can also subscribe to my blog and like and share if you are blessed by this video. When we got there, we had this huge surprise. If any of you saw the first video when we checked out the property, it was just normal land. When we arrived, we found two ladies camping on the property with their chihuahuas. This was totally unexpected. Now what do we do? Plus, I was considering this to be God's property, because God brought us here. And they were on the homosexual side. I guess. One lady said that her her wife got killed in a motorhome accident and so I don't know if these two were just friends or you know. One of them had broken her hip. So why am I sharing you? She was, so they're camping. She'd broken her hip and um, I guess every summer they'd been coming to this property to camp and they were right by where we were going to start leveling and building the property. I mean building up the house and stuff. So we just thought, well, we'll be merciful to them for now and, and let them move to another section of the property. So Gary cleared this um, um, grassy area with the tractor and what ended up happening was it was just dust. And every time that they would drive in and out, it would just stir up a cloud of dust all over their things. And they weren't exactly the neatest and one of them was kind of a chain smoker. But yeah, so that's what we dealt with. And that was a surprise. But we figured, hey, maybe they can watch our motorhome when we're gone to go get more stuff. So, you know, it'd be a while before we got back. So that was a fair trade. I have a video here of our waterfall. It was a spring-fed waterfall. We couldn't see it when we first came to the property. And I had actually prayed for a property that had a stream uh, year-round and a waterfall. I mean, I said it would be really nice, Heavenly Father, if I could have a waterfall. And so I was very, very happy to find this spring-fed waterfall. Anything that's coming downhill, right, is a waterfall. And even when it, um, if you've seen the first page, the home page of my blog, there's a little clip of when there's a lot of rain, I get a huge waterfall. So it is really a blessing to find it. This is not a waterfall.
next, there will be a video of, oh, of me in the creek. And by the way, can you tell that I'm wet? Well, I didn't, it's a hot day, 95 degrees. And um, that's how I stay cool. I get wet my head under the shower in my motorhome and I get wet. So um, there'll be a video of me with my um, underwater camera taking some video of me being out in the creek. I know, I look terrible. I just got wet. This video clip here is of Gary clearing the, um, and he's leveling the land for where he's going to put the, the pad, the concrete for the metal building. Okay? And our plan was to have this metal building to put all of our stuff in when we moved so that we wouldn't have to pay storage and eventually he was going to build inside of it. Looks like Gary's been working hard here leveling the site for the building.
right, well, thank you everyone that made it through to the end. I appreciate all of you, and I just want to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to visit my blog, Healthy Homesteading Adventures, to read about how to make your homestead plan. Thanks for watching to the end. Bye!